Welcome back to the Bison Bites Tactical XCOM 2 podcast channel YouTube extravaganza. We are giving this mission another go due to some disastrous results. Um, and without any further ado, let's give it a second go. We're going to push up hard to the right up here, maintain our concealment, and see if we can't assassinate this general. Enemy patrol on the move. Okay, we've got a patrol up here. We'll get our sniper into heavy cover just in case we break concealment um, have a good shot and with the other supporting characters we can uh, move up affirmative rolling out we're not putting Jane into cover there just so we can get that one extra movement or one tile of movement there um, since we're planning on being in concealment it shouldn't particularly matter I've learned that finding areas of concealment is been different. There isn't always. Confirmed. Sometimes it's in the fog of war. The the tiles. So sometimes the tiles are in the fog of war. Um, so we're gonna take it a little bit slower. Up. I don't see any right there, so that's good. But. Nice and low. Moving to designated position. Affirmative. Moving out. Move up. We'll get ready. door nice and easy i think if you run through the door objective sided oh this is what we need this is absolutely target identity confirmed that's the general take him out before they can escape we won't get another shot at this all right so we alpha strike the general and we go from there Gets ready. Move, move, move. Jane gets ready to drop down and put some hurt down on that general. Got that up there. All right, so I think we Overwatch. Make an Overwatch trap. Hopefully the general is stationary. We can Alpha Strike the general down. Not immediately get popped right here. Come on. Cover. All right, he's ruining our plans, but that's okay. Moved into a little bit more advantageous of a position for us. Maybe because, yes. Okay, that's nice. About the only safe move we have right now. Got other now. patrols coming up. Okay, well, that's not great, but at least the general's in at least a somewhat advantageous position for us. Man. Those sight lines are, those are tough. All right, we're going to have to huck a grenade. That's just all there is to it. Oh, yes. Excellent. And hop down there and put some hurt down. 
No grenade there. And we've got a lot of problems back there. So let's see what we can do. We do have a grenade over here, which is nice. Can we get into some cover against all of them? I think we have to bank on killing this guy. So let's go ahead, pop over to here. At least get some heavy cover against them. Bomb the way! Plop a grenade right on his face. Just blow up his cover. So Jane Kelly pop on down here. Hopefully put a shotgun right into his face. Right there. That is fire and burning, which is sad. That risks pulling another pod. This risks getting shot. This also risks pulling another pod, but I don't we change spots here. You already threw, so you kind of have to kick this off. Do what we get. Raised. That's not great. He did. We needed more. Also gonna get me shot up there. All right, I think if we pin them down, we'll be safe to uh, we'll pin them down with some covering or with an overwatch. And we should be safe to drop down here, as long as we don't pull another pod with this. Okay. Six damage, not quite enough. Oh no. Really needed to die. On the move. This is gonna be painful, but we gotta we gotta do it. Come on. Yes! Rookie! Menace 1 5, kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Nice. Disoriented, but not panicked. And we got incredibly lucky with an exposed Gene Kelly. Come on. I've got eyes on Advent Dang. All right, well. Yes. That's that's better than nothing. We can at least respond to this. We can at least respond Fire to this. Get worse here. I'm doing something. When in doubt, chuck a grenade.
Get ready for a there surprise. we go. I don't know. There was some sort of glitch there. Wasn't letting me chuck the grenade. Where I need it. Excellent. One's not too bad. Not quite enough. So that leaves Jane Kelly to the rescue. That guy is going to be a problem. Might have to pistol this. Okay. Moving on target location. A little bit. That's all we need. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Let's hope and pray. Oh, yes. Yeah, I kind of messed up on that, but that's okay if we only take one. Oh, yes. Take I'm surprised they focused fire. on her. Wow. Got some advent here. All right, so we're going to do what we call here a fighting retreat. Since we got to avoid this pod, we're going to keep moving to back towards the start. Try. So how long are we going to be disoriented for? It's ridiculous. Maybe our sniper has absolutely no escape over there, so that's not great. Right? Let's utilize the sniper to the best of our ability. Bunker that down. We need position. that pistol overwatch. Moving to position. Here, get ready to rain down some terror from the top. Scanning. Moving and out. kind of get ready to set up an ambush here. I'm ready. Did you just completely expose yourself? They're on the At least you're still in cover. Help! Help! Someone help! Well, panic, not the worst. Take some high cover. Take no cover, because... Oh my god. Okay, at least it's a double move. We've got, we've got options.
Come on, we need some big shots. That's a big shot. So we could kill that. It's probably not going to happen. Probably can't one-shot him either. sudden, we have options. Come up here, take down that, and leave us with just one enemy. And maybe save our enemy down. engineer specialist up there. Lyrium core and alien data cache. I'll take it. Here. Oh, nice. Panic's been removed. That's... That is nice. Critted through eye cover. Wow. That is just the absolute worst. Okay. Affirmative. Moving out. You know. Sometimes you, uh... Sometimes you eat the bar, and... Sometimes the bar eats your favorite character. But my sniper over here, she's rapidly becoming my, my go-to clutch. Um, let's try and get it on the specialist so we can at least out. get a better promotion here, I suppose. Kill confirmed. You know, I, I should have done the aid Mission protocol. Man, that is, that is a rough one. Tragedy Rip Jane Kelly. Today. Another loyal advent citizen was lost to but XCOM we got the mission done you know that's XCOM baby you take some losses you take some wins daily contact. it's a sad v3 14 days in there at least we did get that promotion on our squaddy over here. We didn't even get a promotion. Oh, no, we did get a promotion over here. Okay, another specialist. That's not what we wanted, but that's okay. And then... All right, what do we got? Medical protocol. Heal and stabilize. Or combat protocol. Guaranteed damage. No question about it. Combat protocol. Absolutely memorialize. Um, background option. No, that's fine. Um, let's see what took her down. Officer. Whatever. XCOM badge. Okay. Let's see. We need those. Add attention. core better be worth it.
now that we've got some help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. To clear out these rooms, first we'll need to assign an engineer to the task. Once we start getting into the far reaches of the ship, it's going to take more time and manpower to make space for new facilities. Looks good to me. Just give the word and we'll get started, Commander. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Commander, we have a secure transmission coming through. Source unknown. I'm Passing sad about it through to your quarters. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. Me in the banana man suit. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells operations. and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. Um, can we hire more soldiers? No, we still don't have full. Full rain. Okay. The councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Tigan has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Okay. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Okay. Rookies, okay, that's how we get more stuff. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. That's fun. Commander, while we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. Let's go ahead. Scan away. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Though it is intriguing. Nano scale vest and plated armor. Excellent. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research. So much so that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. Okay. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, Field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. Okay. Gross. Get in there, I guess. Doing the Lord's work there, Tygen. Doing the Lord's work. Working at the Advent clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens' arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to teeth. Okay, continue scanning. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. 
The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted from the this commander. This is spikier. But there are differences. No key. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. Oh, they were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, oh. somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory, Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Okay. Observe. What? Yeah, give me the shocks. Subjects, diminished condition. The implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Okay. New objective added. That looks pleasant. Access the alien network. Construct the proving ground facility. Complete the skull jack. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. The Physically larger and more tactically to provide a means capable of than the subordinate troopers, the admin the officers administer a system of control over the troopers. Itself. Through a carefully engineered psionic link augmented with a mechanical implant from my initial examination of the commander and a careful review of the information gathered in the alien containment area, I now have a theory as to how this system was established. It is my firm belief that this process of psionic control was specifically engineered to allow rapid development of tactical information drawn directly from the subconscious mind, in this case the mind of our very own commander. That's spice and bites. With this hierarchy in place, tactical knowledge stored in the depths of the commander's mind was processed and transmitted to the Advent officers, who in turn directed the troopers and other subordinates. With the commander no longer attached to their psionic network, it is difficult to say how the orders are being dispersed at this point, although I'm sure the aliens have planned for this potential contingency. I believe it may be possible to tap into this network, but it would require the use of a living Advent officer to function as our conduit to facilitate this difficult task. We work to develop a new device, the Skull Jack, which would be capable of disabling an officer. From there, it's simply a matter of hacking the officer in the field, although I won't speculate as to the outcome. Commander, Probably we're not going good. To try to build this Skull Jack that Tygen came up with. Experimental we're going to need a specialized facility to test okay. it out. Okay, new types of ammo. I'm down. And new stuff. So let's go for weapons. I agree. We've got armor. That is an let's go for weapons. Task, Commander. And let's come back here. Grab some more rooks. Rip Jane Kelly. Okay, we got some supplies for opening up a room. Let's go ahead and take their advice. We're we'll cruising we'll around. Right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Okay, good. And give me my rookies. Excellent. Fire axes. <laughs> For axis, fire axis. Have broad reports of activity, may we want to investigate. Reward a scientist. That seems nice. Do not now. We go down here. Well, how do we do that? Oh, research resistance communication. new course. Okay. Well, let's go get the scientist then. I guess. You are 
too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. <laughs> oh, that fist pound. They might show up. Commander. That was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Since we're all friends now, maybe you could lend my people a hand in dealing with a problem of ours. Are we friends? I thought we were gonna try and make friends. Our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I recommend we proceed as soon as possible. Okay, well we get a scientist over here and some intel versus scientist in eight days over here. So let's go over here and plop down and start up a new mission. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. So, Simbra and Christine. So, Simbra probably. I'm gonna save Simbra so we can have Simbra and Christine be together since they are bonded, so. It's the Deutsch Lena Williams it's from the Deutschland. Um. Oh, she's Belgian. Oh yeah, I thought that. Time. All right, let's load out. Yeah, we get her some resistance Kevlar. Fun. Uh, utility items available. So get that med kit. Build items. What do we got here? I thought we got some armor. Yes. Instant build. Two admin trooper corpses. 30 supplies. Done. We could get snow grenades and flashbangs? Ah. Alright. Ah, well. Vests are important. So what do we got here? Being unbonded, load out. You just look better than Kevlar. Okay. to do it to you, Rook, but I don't think you get the, uh, I don't think you get a nanoscale. I think you get a flash, or you get a grenade. 
got to be able to blow some stuff up. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, am I sending out like two? Uh, okay, we'll do one nano scale. Pretty uh, baller, baller helmet there. Skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting points strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of advent resistance. Still, keep your eyes peeled. It's been about... Okay. Team Girl Squad. Detecting increasing biological signatures in the area ahead. And I'd say we're in the right place. Stay sharp out there today, people. Just because this city was abandoned doesn't mean it's lifeless. Pleasant. Spiky armor. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from. Voice. Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. More so than you imagine. Oh. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Cool. Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this? Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. In the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. All right, Reaper Shadow. Reapers use an advanced form of concealment called Shadow, which only has a chance to break after taking actions. Okay. Uh, consecutive actions increase the chance of being revealed. While in Shadow, Reapers have increased mobility and their enemies have smaller detection radii. Okay. All right, though, I think that is going to do it for our time on this particular episode. Be sure to give us a like or a subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. Please feel free to leave a comment. I will get back to you. It really helps uh, the channel out. Let's me provide you all with quality, entertaining content here. Um, and yeah, have a nice day, nice afternoon, a nice evening, a nice month or a nice year, whatever you're, uh, whatever you fancy. All right. Thank you very much. Bison Bites out.